Hey, what is up everyone? Chris here with another video. Today is something I've been waiting for for quite a while um, and I finally am here to show you. We have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. Slick Wraps did a giveaway maybe a month ago um, and I won. So here's the product. This is going to be technically my second Xiaomi device. Anyways, last summer I owned the Mi 5, um, so I do have some experience with Xiaomi. Cheap products, but great performance. Um, so it looks like we have here the 3 gig 30 or 3 gig RAM, 32 gig internal storage model. They do have a 2 gig, 16 gig uh, model as well. We have a MediaTek Helio X20, which is a DECA core processor, 13 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front, 4100 milliamp hour battery, which is huge for uh, a device like this 5.5 inch screen. But let's get in and see what this is all about. It's actually a really small box for a 5.5 inch display phone. Open that up and it's actually a black one. I was hoping it would be black. Um, I just think the black looks so much nicer, um, especially on these Xiaomi devices. So let's just set that aside real quick. Um, looks like they already took off the um, rear or sorry, the, yeah, the rear plastic and things like that. We get just some information guides. Um, and looks like they took out the cable for it, so that's no big deal. Charging, charging brick, which is gonna be for China. And there's also, of course, a SIM ejector tool right there too. All right, enough with the box, we want the phone. All right black front five and a half inch screen metal and whoa so it looks like this is slick wraps slate skin um, that they leaked and not really leaked that they came out with before dbrand um, this they posted a picture up on twitter follow them if you haven't already slate that's pretty cool it has like this um it's hard to describe. It kind of feels like a felt material, um, maybe between like a solid color or true color felt and maybe like a, a leather. Um, I don't have too much experience um, with some of their other types of skins, but hopefully that will change in the near future. So it looks like we do have capacitive buttons down here at the bottom. You have your volume up and down and power looks like your your grills for your speaker mic and your micro USB that's unfortunate wish it would have had USB-C but this is a mid mid-range phone at a very good price around probably maybe 170 I would say maybe on flash sales you do have a dual sim and or a SIM card and micro SD card tray, headphone jack, IR blaster, which is nice, controlling your TVs um, and other devices, your mic, secondary mic, you do have that rear fingerprint scanner and dual LED flash, and also your camera back there with some of the Mi logo. Definitely feels nice. Let's go ahead and get this turned on real quick definitely a very nice hefty built phone it doesn't feel cheap at all you can see all these uh, chamfered edges that they now have you can see the chrome finish so this is going to be their gray version uh, as you can tell from the the sides they do have a silver and also like a gold as well you have your earpiece up front your camera and a um, LED notification light up there. So to compare to the Zook Z2, which I've been doing a lot of content on, let's compare, let me just take the case off. So this is a 
five inch phone versus a five and a half inch. So you can see size comparison. Let me put them up next to each other. You can see the Zoop Z2 is kind of blocky. Um, the Redmi Note 4 has a slight curve along the edges with those chanfered. Yeah, you can see they're pretty similar in thickness. Okay, it didn't boot up. That's weird. So either A, the battery's low, um, or something else. Let's see if that boots up here. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so it looks like the battery is low. Um, the red light came up on here, so I'll probably just need to get this charged. Um, something I did notice that while Slick Wraps had the device, it looks like there's some scratches on the screen. Um, so I would say this glass on this is not very scratch resistant, such as Gorilla Glass 3, 4, 5. Um, but of course, to save money, so definitely get a screen protector. Alright guys, so I finally got the phone charged. It is 100%. Now let me state, this does not have quick charging. I was using my Chotec 5 port quick charge 3.0 and it literally took like three and a half, four hours to go from zero to 100%. So I left it to charge overnight, um, but now we are good to go. First, let me say that this frame, this whole phone is metal. So it's a full metal phone. You do just have the antenna lines um, at the corners. Um, I went ahead and took off the skin for the fingerprint scanner. That way that will work. We can go ahead and test that out, which I already do have set up. And I must say that it is actually quite quick. Not only that, but I could pretty much put not even my whole fingerprint on it and it'll still unlock. So that's pretty quick. Um, this does come or at least the phone that I guess uh, Slick Wraps may have got um, has Google Play services, the Google, uh, the Play Store on it already. So this is going to be like I guess the um, global ROM. Um, we'll go ahead and just check the version real quick. We do have global 8.1.4.0 stable build. Um, so I'm not sure if that's like an official build or not. That's something I'm going to have to research. We can see here 3 gigs of RAM, 2.11 gigahertz DECA core, and looks like 32 gigs total storage with about 22, a little over 22 and a half gig internal available. And we have our capacitive buttons. So this is running MIUI 8. This is a very heavily modified skin on top of Android. Um, as you can see, this was running Android version 6.0, security patch level uh, January 1st of 2017. So 6.0, not even 6.0.1, um, not even 7.0, but hopefully 7.0 will come soon. Um, if you haven't had experience with MIUI, it is going to be very Apple-like um, in the sense of how everything is. It's definitely changed over the years. You still have your quick toggles, and then your notifications will show up underneath here. Before, you still also have the option, which if you like customization, this is going to be for you. This has so much more customization options than I've ever seen on any other device. Um, so that's nice to have. So the notification status bar, I went ahead and just changed it. Now this is will be, you have your quick toggles on one and then your notifications on another pane. So if you like that, you can change that. So this is a very snappy phone, what I've already experienced. Um, I went ahead and put my Google information in last night. Um, and just used it just a little bit. Everything is super, super snappy um, from just loading just the most simplest things. Very responsive. Um, I will give it that, that's for sure. 
you can see just everything just opens really quick. Now, since this is a Xiaomi device, it's a Redmi Note 4, it does not have the proper LTE bands for the United States. Um, so you're not going to get LTE, but I do get, I'm on T-Mobile, so it will work on GSM networks. Sorry, Verizon, Sprint customers. Actually, it may work on Sprint. I'll have to double check. Um, let me check on that. Hang on. All right, so I just confirmed it will not work. Um, you will get like HSPA or 3G on Verizon. Um, so you are going to be able to put a, their SIM card in. Now Sprint, on the other hand, will get 4G LTE. It does have one CDMA band that Sprint uses here in the US. Um, so technically you would be able to um, get this working. You may have to work with Sprint to get it activated or something. But um, for GSM networks like AT&T and T-Mobile, um, you are not going to get any LTE. You are going to get HSPA Plus, which is... Um, I'll just show you a quick speed test. Let me turn off Wi-Fi here. Speed test. So you can see up here, we have a H plus. So I'm in the Orlando area. Um, and we are getting around two to three megabits per second. Maybe pushing four, yep. So not quite four and a half megabits per second. Um, so now the downside is you're not going to get this type of speed and coverage in everywhere. Um, you are going to at times not have any internet at all, especially in rural or maybe buildings, um, metropolitan areas. So it just doesn't have the bands for the, the your data connection. But I just want to kind of give you this first look at everything. Um, Again, that slick wraps slate skin. I like it actually. Um, I would maybe close. I would maybe kind of relate it closely to. I know before I mentioned kind of like a felt, true color or like a leather. This may be kind of like a, not as rough as a concrete. Not as rough as a concrete, um, but maybe like a concrete and true color mix. It has like grays and not sure if the camera can really pick up the color or not, but yeah. Anyways, um, let's actually just take a look at the, the camera, which we can access quickly from the lock screen here. Takes pictures quick. You do have HDR auto, different camera modes, panorama, beautify, things like that. And then you have like an Apple-esque um, quick view, different settings there. Um, that is one thing, unfortunately, with uh, me, why everything is so jarring and different than um, stock Android that it's kind of difficult to navigate at first. Um, so you do have all your different settings for your camera, things like that. So I'll be definitely doing some videos on the Redmi Note 4, such as on how to unlock bootloader, um, flash um, a stable or development Chinese or global ROM on here, camera comparison, speed comparison, um, you name it, I'll be doing it for sure. So if you are interested in picking up a Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, I will leave a link down in the description where you can purchase that on banggood.com. Um, they do ship very quickly. I received my Zook Z2 from them in about uh, two weeks from the day that I ordered it. It arrived at my doorstep um, with tracking information as well. So thanks for, guys for watching. I really appreciate you checking out my video and my channel. Stay tuned and I will see you all here in the future.